Um, hello, welcome to the Golden Hawk Speaker Series podcast. My name is Lucas. Uh, my name is Jesus Mendoza. My name is Stephanie Lowes. My name is Friella Rodriguez. And we're get, we're here with uh, Mr. Gonzalez, our principal at Miami Springs Senior High. Um, please introduce yourself. And- yes, my name is also Gonzalez, principal of Miami Springs uh, Miami Springs Senior High. All right, uh, Friella, if you so, want to ask. So uh, tell us about yourself, just a little bit of your background in education. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, my name is Nelson Gonzalez. I've been uh, in the teaching profession for 24 years. I started as a teacher in Highland Middle, uh, and I was working as a language arts teacher for seven years. And then after that, I became an assistant principal, and I worked as an assistant principal in various schools. I worked as an assistant principal at uh, Filer Middle, Highland Gardens Middle, and I've been an assistant principal for over eight years. And then I interviewed to become a, a principal, and I became a principal at my previous school where I started working, and that was highly a middle, and I worked there for seven years. So you said you worked at middle school before here. Like, how is the transition from middle school to high school? Like, as a teacher and as a principal, like how? I guess honestly, at, at the base, it's the same. Okay. In the sense that, you know, students at, you know, elementary, middle and high, you know, the purpose is to educate and, and, and to build the students. So I think at the root of it, it's very similar and I don't think there's much difference. But naturally, you know, there is a difference in the sense that in middle school, you're preparing for them for high school. You want to set them in the path to college. And that's happening nowadays at the middle school level with all the advanced courses, the high school courses that kids are taking now at the middle school level. But when you do get to high school, at least in my personal opinion, what I'm feeling is, there's a lot of pressure, pressure on the school, on the teachers, because this is your last leg in the sense that we have to go ahead and make sure that you have everything you guys need to enter the workforce, your next chapter in your life, which is college, career, and so forth. So in my opinion, you know, I feel that that's the greatest difference, that we have to make sure that you have everything that you need to be successful as you guys enter your next chapter. In life or college? Okay. Correct. So... We see, I mean, we're all students here at Miami Springs Senior High, so we see a lot of changes that you're making in the school and for the better, obviously. Um, Hopefully. Yeah, and, and you're, you're bringing the community together. You have a bunch of activities. Um, like, when you got here, were, were, was that, like, your goal to, like, you know, unify the community and stuff, or is it just something that just happened that you just, like, you know? Well... I think, you know, central to any great community, it's their, their school. Yeah. So everywhere I've been, you know, that plays a large role. Naturally, here in Springs, it's a very special place in the sense that we're a very small community yeah. in a very <clears throat> large county, yeah. and it's almost a small town feel. Yeah. And then yeah. you have Mammy Springs that's been here servicing this community and, the, you know, City Hialeah and even Brownsville for over 58 years, and I think that's a great and a big responsibility. Yeah. So naturally, one of the things that I have to do as a principal is to continue to foster that relationship yeah. within the community and surrounding neighborhoods. Yeah, that's, that's cool. And you guys have any um, one of the new things that sent out to me uh, that you bring into the school is the uh, aerospace program. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, that's very special. That's uh, one of the things that, you know, anytime I, I enter a new site or even at, at my previous sites is, you know, you need to continue to innovate. You know, you can't stay stagnant in education. We, we understand that there are four core areas, right? You guys know them. what are they? Please know. Math, science, and yeah. Yeah. And that's standard, correct? That's standard. But we're living in an, an ever changing world and society. And I feel that the role of an institution, educational institution, is to stay and keep up with those current trends. So naturally, I joined Miami Springs Senior High. I gathered a lot of information. I saw all the course offerings, offerings that we have here, our magnet programs. And I go, how can I expand? And I just started to brainstorm. And naturally, this community was always was founded in the airport. We had a lot of the pilots lived in this community because of our proximity to Miami International Airport. So I actually walked into our logistics class and I met Mr. Acosta for the first time and I pitched him an idea, not knowing his background, not knowing too much about his educational background. And, but I saw how great this program was and it was dealing with logistics and I felt that logistics has a strong tie to aviation. You know, I was thinking along the lines of UPS, FedEx distribution, you know, the, the hub for the global market. So I pitched it to him and I go, listen, I, I would like to possibly 
you know, entertain the idea of creating an aviation academy. And I know it's an industry where there's a great need. So he actually turned around and he said, well, I went to Embry-Riddle. And I charged them with that responsibility. And because in every great school, Mammy Springs is a great school, it doesn't start with the principal, it doesn't start with the assistant principal, it actually starts with the students, the parents, and most importantly, the teachers. I believe in that. You're just as strong as your teacher leaders. He took the ball and ran with it, and, and it's coming to fruition, and we're actually on track to open our Academy of Aerospace. By, by one more or less, by next year? Well, hopefully, yeah, we want to go online and we want to start offering our courses already by next year, yes. By next year, wow. Yeah, and it's a really good program considering how, you know, Miami Springs is founded by Glenn Curtis, who, you know, is this, um, like... He's an aviator. Yeah, he was an aviator and he, like, innovated and he was just, I mean, the Curtis mentioned and everything, so, like, aeronautics is at the heart of Miami Springs. Um, aside from that magnet program, uh, what's your take on, like, expanding other magnet programs in the school, like iTech and... Um, uh, the hospitality program that's a good question but just to go back to the uh, aerospace one of the and and i think the feasibility of it was very appealing in a sense that you know we're so close to international airport we're so close to uh, northwest 36th street where you have boeing american airlines paramount and all these great businesses and so it was almost a natural fit so it was like a no-brainer and Actually, I'm eternally grateful to Mr. Acosta for, for what he's doing and how he's pushing this program forward. Now, tying that in, and that, that was part of the process as well, was that we have the hospitality and tourism. We have iTech that deals with gaming, programming. All that fits in under that umbrella. So the idea is to go ahead and continue to build programs that's going to expand on global travel, that industry. And I think all those programs that we have here kind of tie into a general umbrella of aviation, distribution, hospitality and tourism, and naturally, you know, programming. So I noticed that Miami Springs, like we have this, like uh, when I became a student here, I noticed that we have like this amazing programs that aren't, a lot of schools guide you to on a one track thing of like, you have to go to college, finish high school, you go to college, and then in college you learn what you're gonna do in your career. But like in many things, I noticed that we have a lot of programs that are trying to show you a career path right out of high school where not necessarily college is the best fit for everyone. I'm not saying not to go to college, but you know, like you're trying to guide everyone, even if they don't want to go to college, to them be successful in their life with just a high school degree or, or what they can advance. You know, like we, we offer a, a, the forklift certifications, a, a bunch of the aviation program, you know, all those things that like you don't necessarily not every kid is going to go to college. Not every kid wants to go to college. And you guys are like, okay, we understand that. We're going to help you. Even though that, we're still going to help you. Well, I think Dade County Public Schools has done a phenomenal job with their uh, CTE program and creating these career and technical education programs and having the opportunity for you guys to get certified in many different things. And that's across the board, across the district. We have a lot of different programs. But in my personal opinion, I feel that you have to give the kids at least the avenue. You understand? And we want to provide that avenue where you make your choice. Yeah. You might want to go into a CTE program where you're going to go ahead and enter the workforce, but we don't want to shut the door on college. Yeah. You understand? You want to keep that route open. Or you can go the college route and then later transfer over to a CTE program and, you know, continue forward. Because if you have your degree plus a certification, yeah. I think the world's in your hands. You know, yeah. Especially, you know, starting your own business yeah. and you're more, you're more marketable. Yeah. No, I, so that's 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 my humble opinion. You know? I understand that, but like, I, I was just like, because you normally see a, college, a school and like the, the only thing they tell you about is, oh, college, 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 like you have to get the best scores and that is very important. But like, this school is like college, go to college, but after college, you can do, have a lot of degree, but if you don't have any skills, like workable skills, marketable skills, you just have a college degree. So this brings everything together into like a full circle. Correct, correct. And, 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 that's, and that's the hard part, you understand? You know, a degree is not going to make you ready yeah, for, for the workforce. For and that's why we always have to continue to work out with industry to see what skills are needed. And, and those skills are changing every day, you understand? You know, now we're, we're in the era of technology, you know? Back when my parents were in school, it wasn't the case. And if it was, it was a lot different. Technology looked a lot different at that time. 
So we have to stay up to date with the current trends of the job force, the workforce, and what they need. So that constant communication. And that's why we partner up with our teachers who are, you know, constantly, you know, networking and, and staying up to date with the current trends and then bringing it back to this level at the high school level. So another thing we wanted to mention was, what about our amazing, amazing baseball program? Like, you know, our school, we have this thing with baseball, and it, it really does. I've never seen a baseball game so packed. I mean, they're just so full. Like, it's such a long game that it's hard. So, like, what, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you have to mention about it? Like, Well, it's winning, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's just some high expectations. So are we, are we going think... to face this year? Hopefully. Yeah. Uh -huh. State championship. Come on. Yeah. You're saying it. Miami. I'm saying it. Miami. You're saying State it. You're saying it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and hopefully. And that's, yeah. and that's the goal. You yeah. know, that's the goal. You want to be number one in anything you do. And we know that. And that's what we teach here at Springs, that we create winners and, and hard work and dedication should yield those results. Yeah. So I think the person at the helm, which is uh, Coach Fanshawe, yeah. uh, demonstrates that through yeah. his coaching style, through his expectations, through his commitment. You see Coach Fanshawe every single day before the season, after the season, during the season, in the morning, in the afternoon, on the weekends, working on that field so like that it's ready for these kids to play. And I, I, the students see that, the parents see that, we see that, so the community sees that. So it starts with him and then naturally we have some phenomenal players and they're doing a great job and you know they're, they're working hard. You know, it's amazing. And all our sports programs, we have great coaches. Yeah. And even though we're not winning at the ultimate goal, we want to win. Yeah. You know, these kids are doing, a, you know, they're leaving it all out there. And, and they're great athletes, but not only athletes, they're great student athletes. Yeah, student athletes. You know, so it's, it's I'm no, very I'm, proud to be, you know, the proud principal of the school. Yeah. Proud, yeah. Um, I, I know that at least Fanshawe and, and, and Corey, Coach Corey, their main main goal is like you know make sure your grades are you know because a student athlete is student athlete student comes first and yes you could be a good athlete but if you're not a good student then you did it for nothing you know Correct. so they're very prominent on on keeping our grades up and making sure that people the, the players can keep on playing so yeah and you spoke about the community and you know like when we win you know the community obviously feels it too not just the school um, in terms of uh, activities and events that the school hosts, like we did the car show um, recently, um, how do you feel that community, uh, we can bring the community together to really support the school? There's so many alumni, you know, who still who attended the school and live in Springs and their kids, you know, it's like a generational thing. How do you feel about like bringing everybody together? Like the school is the heart of the city. Yeah. So, you know, that's one of the big responsibilities that I feel that I have and, you know, making sure that we remain that that positive and that open community school. So it's it's actually been very easy because of the rich history that Miami Springs Senior has. You know, we've been in operation for over 58 years. We have a strong alumni. We have a strong connection to the city because how it's situated in this beautiful city. So it's just continuing to stay active in it because there's a lot there's a lot of stuff going on you understand so but we do have a great alumni association that's always planning always hounding me you know to want to do things and you know, i can't say no you know and a lot of those people are working here in this building as you all know mr costa graduated from Abbey springs you guys let's let's do a little quiz name your teacher who graduated from Abbey springs senior high oh acosta man uh oh, yeah, hold on Acosta? Man. Miss Man? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Mr. Acosta, Miss Man. No, they said those already. Oh, they said those already. Um, I'm oh, not sure. Um, Miss Perez, dance teacher. Miss Perez. Miss Perez, science teacher. Miss Perez, science teacher. All and the Perez's. Science teacher. And Miss Perez, science teacher. teacher and, and, and history teacher. Miss Perez, science teacher. I miss Perez's history teacher. Uh huh. And, 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 and the, the dance teacher. Dance teacher. teacher. Okay. Keep going. Oh, the Kappa Vice Chairman. No, no, what she no, she actually graduated from Hylia Garden. So we'll yeah. just you know, but uh, keep going, guys. You're, you're, we still have many more. Yeah, it's a lot. You yeah. guys got to know your history. You guys are part of this generation. You're part of this school. Come on, guys. I guess Pacheco, but I'm not sure. Mr. Pacheco. Oh, yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Oh yeah. Okay, keep going. Miss Mills. 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 
Mr. Perez. Mr. Mills. Ms. Gonzalez. Coach J. Coach J. Ms. Gonzalez, our counselor. Gonzalez. Keep going. Make sure you don't miss anybody. They're going to get mad at us when they watch this podcast. Uh, uh, there's still more? There's, there's still, still more. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Um, uh, how many more? Well, I, I wasn't counting. I wasn't keeping track. But. Um, a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't think of any more. Yeah. You have Miss Robin that's working in the in the main office. The main office, okay. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. And her daughter goes here too. And her daughter goes here, attends here. Who else? Are we missing anybody? Can't think of anybody else. I'm sure we're missing somebody. Yeah. It's a lot. I'm sure. We I'm covered positive. a few. So what what the point is is that that's that's amazing, and that in itself creates a, a strong, powerful commitment to the school. So these, these, these individuals, these adults now, these teachers, these professionals, attended and walked these same hallways. So they have a passion for the school, not only because it's their job, but because they attended here and they had the same experiences you had. So that in itself allows us to continue to nurture that and helps with building that community sense. So the hardest thing is just, you know, continuing to stay active, meaning there's so many things going on and you just got to keep planning these events. But as you know, we had the alumni, the mega reunion. We have the River City Festivals that's coming up now. That That's yeah. a huge event that the entire city participates in. And yeah. naturally, we have all the classes that they all meet up and, you know, they socialize and they rekindle, you know, their high school years. Yeah. So it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's a very yeah. beautiful thing. It's a, it's a small town feel in a big city. Correct. Yes, yeah, something that, and now you guys are part of it. Yeah, right. Nice. And you guys will come back and give back to our school and to your community, correct? Yeah, yes. it's a very unique situation. Like yeah, Miami's is this, like huge Ma- city and like tourist city, especially. And then like we're just in a tiny little. Miami is a, a well, it's a metropolis now, but it's it's a city where you know, we have four million Hamiltons right now. We have four million citizens. I'll in take your word on it. Yeah, I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's four million, and you know, like we're not the biggest city either, and and it's just. You know, it's easy to get lost in Miami, in Miami, but Miami Springs is like, you know, everyone drives 30 miles an hour because, mm-hmm. you know, everyone drives 30 miles an hour. You know, everything, there's a lot of trees, which you don't see in Miami as much anymore. A very, you don't see it as much. It's very, you know, yeah. small town. It's a very you special know, place. You have a main street, right? And you have all the businesses basically on that main street. You have the little town, service. like it's a small town. Yeah. And all these businesses naturally support our school, support yeah. this community. So that's, that's very special. And and just to be honest, you know, I'm drawn to the school not because I attended here. I did not come. I didn't. I did not attend Miami Springs. I didn't graduate from Miami Springs, but I was kind of always envious of Springs. And the reason being is that I married a hawk. My wife. <laughs> my wife uh, graduated from Springs along with her brothers. And honestly speaking, I I heard about you know the great times that they had here. Every time you know we had family gatherings, their friends would come over, and at the end of the night, the conversation always reverted back to their high school years and their experiences and the wonderful teachers here. So so when I was assigned to work at the school, it, it was a very proud moment for me. And the first person I actually called was my wife. And, get, and I said, guess what? Now I'm part of the family. I'm part of, you know, the Golden Hawk family. So, you know, I want to continue. Has she come back? Of course, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's come back. Yeah, she's been to our events and stuff. Uh, yeah. And uh, so it's a great responsibility in the sense that I feel like I have to continue that legacy because not only... Am I the principal of the school, but I am part of the family, yeah. you know, through yeah. the relationship that I have with my wife and her brothers and yeah, stuff like that. Carrying the torch. Yeah, I carry the torch for everybody who graduated from this wonderful mm-hmm. institution and school. It's a lot of, lot of no pressure. No pressure at yeah. all, right? No, no pressure. pressure but, hey, but you know, with pressure, yeah. comes you, great responsibility. Great responsibility, and yet yeah, you work very hard, and and I think that that helps us. I, you know, a lot of people have a, a negative view on pressure, yeah. and the it's contrary, good. I think it's something that's very positive in the sense that. You know, you just keep pushing, you keep working hard, and, and at times you will fail, but you learn from what? Failure. And then you what? You improve. Correct. Yeah. You only learn from failure. Correct. And then you keep pushing forward. You understand? So the, the only way to learn is failure. So very excited about that. Yeah. Well. Well, to close it out, uh, can yeah. you talk about what's next for Miami Springs? What's next for Miami Springs? First and goal. how you plan on making it better? And Any what ideas? new ideas do you yeah. have in mind now that you're part of the school? <laughs> yeah. 
Hold on a minute. <laughs> so, uh, what's next for Miami Springs? So, basically, what's currently what's next for Miami Springs is to continue to offer more advanced classes, more choice uh, to stay innovate, and so so that's coming about by looking and currently right now we're building our master schedule and stuff like that and you know adding more dual enrollment classes adding more ap classes more ace classes and continuing to look what's what's happening in industry and to bring it back here and offer something very similar here so so we're continuing to expand our aviation program right now is what's next but alongside that is uh also addressing the needs of all the students here. You know, we want to make sure that every student that attends Miami Springs graduates from Miami Springs. Understand? And each child has their different needs. So we want to make sure that we build a system where we can cater to everybody's specific needs. And that's very hard. You understand? And it's very hard, but I think our teachers do a wonderful job of assisting, providing support. So we want to make sure we have systems in place you know, to provide that support. So that's what's next. And then hopefully that you guys come back if you choose to and even work here. Mm. Anybody here going into education? <laughs> no. Never. Mm, I don't know. I yeah. thought about it. Maybe. I, I thought about it for two minutes. And then I said, classroom full of people like me. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a good idea. <laughs> I'll pass. But... Like me right now. Imagine 30 of me. And you have to deal with that every day, 180 days a year. That's you know, that's the joy of being a teacher. That's the, that's the joy of being, being a teacher. Yeah, that's the joy of being. I say teaching is a very, it's an important job, but it's a special job because not everyone can do it. Not everyone can be a teacher. It takes a special person, someone that is dedicated. It's not, and be a good teacher that even harder. But it's not a, a job for everyone. It's a very hard job to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't think any jobs for everybody. You have thirty different personalities. In the worst time, especially high school, in the worst time of someone's life, because like, I mean, like, if you look at it, like, chemically speaking, like, high schoolers, we change our mood will change from happy to sad in, in, ten times in one day, you know, and you have thirty of those in your classroom at all times, and you're trying to get them to focus on one thing so you can teach them uh, a a skill that they they will need, and and it's it's a hard thing. You have to you have to. It's it's not as easy as it seems. Oh, well, not at all. But honestly speaking, like I, I like I was telling you a little earlier, you know, it's not any any profession or any career choice you guys choose. If you don't love it, if you don't have a yeah. passion for it, then it's it's no point in getting into it. So yes, I agree with you. Uh, but it takes a special person, and it's somebody who likes working with others, somebody who can see past those moments. Yeah. And understand that you're planting that seed, that you see the greatness that's in, in that lies in each and every one of you, and trying to manifest that and bring it out, and, and and have you believe in yourself and see yourself so you can achieve your dreams. So it takes that type of person. You have to have a love for others, caring, supportive, and a passion for teaching. Yeah. You know? so. Okay, I think with that. I think with that we're done. Thank you so much. Thank you, so thank you for thank you. yeah, thank you Thanks for everything time. and for making the school way better. Yeah, and we you. really appreciate you a lot. Thank you for your kind words. You know, sometimes this is a thankless job, and yeah. those words mean a lot to me. All right, thank yeah, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Good.